From the faded pages of a novel to the dark corners of a theater, vampires have crept into our imaginations, filling us with fear, lust, envy. Well, of all the monsters, the vampire is the one who comes to us with a, uh, an aura of glamour. I am Dracula. For us, they are the source of infinite fantasies and nightmares. For Hollywood, they are pure gold. I'd rather die than to stay away from you. The Twilight franchise alone has earned something like three and a half billion dollars. And that's just one of hundreds of adaptations, according to expert David Skull, author of The Monster Show. There's no way anyone, even people like me who are historians of this material, we can't really keep up. But where did the vampire legend come from? Experts admit it wasn't Bram Stoker's Dracula. The real vampire legacy, the one that the world should know about, should be here in Serbia. Our search takes us to the Golubac Castle on the Danube River. Dr. James Lyon is an expert in Balkan history from UCLA, but has lived here in Serbia for decades. He's the author of Kiss of the Butterfly, a vampire novel based on authentic Balkan folklore. The first vampire in history was a man named Petr Plogojevic, and he lived just a few miles away from where we're standing right now. Lyon takes me to a village called Kisievo. Dave, up at the end of these rows of corn is a cemetery. It appears out of nowhere only known by the villagers here, where the first recorded vampire is buried. The oldest part of the graveyard where the vampire is buried has been completely overgrown, and that is over in this area. But what's most interesting is the very oldest of the tombstones were often made with no shape and with no inscription on them. Here's another grave marker, but somewhere under one of these stones, the first recorded vampire in history was buried and no one remembers where. This fortress is called Kalamegdan in Belgrade. It's an important part of vampire folklore because it was out of these gates in 1732 that an Austrian army unit went riding out into the countryside with a surgeon looking for evidence of vampires. What they found was written up in a special report. That report created the world's first vampire craze. In the surgeon's autopsy report, he witnessed the excavation of a grave. He saw the corpse staked and says it screamed and bled. And he used the word vampire to describe what this person was. And that was the first time in the history of the world that the word vampire was ever used to describe a blood-sucking creature that comes out of its grave. The Greek Orthodox Church absolutely endorsed the reality of vampires. There was a vampire hysteria that swept across Europe. Innocent people thought to be vampires were executed. Graves were desecrated. Fear is part of life for these villagers of Zadoje, especially at night. There are unknown elements out there in the darkness, including as many in this village still believe, vampires. There are signs of this everywhere, like this house adorned in garlic. David, we're just a couple of hundred meters away from the water mill of the vampire Sava Savanovich. Lion leads me to a centuries old water mill that hasn't been used for decades. This past winter, the roof caved in, a seemingly meaningless occurrence, but to the villagers here, it set off a panic. For generations, they believed a vampire named Sava Savanovich lived in it. Now that it has caved in, they fear the creature is wandering the land. What he's saying is when Sava would come to the water mill, he would always look through this window and see who was in here. And if he saw someone inside, then he would know that he had a meal waiting. Slobodan Jagovic has lived on this land all his life. His family has owned it for centuries. This is my grandfather. He lived to be 84 years old. He was one of the strongest men in the village, but he would never dare to spend the night in the water mill if you gave him all of Serbia. Vampires have long been part of Balkan culture, and in isolated communities like these, beliefs last a lot longer. This sort of represents the focal point, the ground zero for vampires in the world. This mill takes us back to the roots of the original vampire legend in history. Jagovic knows most of the world laughs at the thought of real vampires, but he also knows most of the world 
has never had to walk these forests at night.